Just 160 feet below the ocean surface off the coast of southern England, wreckage from one of the worst tragedies of World War II rests silently in the sand. They are two U.S. landing ship tanks sunk after being torpedoed by German e-boats during Exercise Tiger, the secret rehearsal for the D-Day invasion of Normandy's Utah Beach. 749 American soldiers died in the attack on April 28, 1944, and 946 Americans in total during Exercise Tiger. It was one of the biggest losses in a single day in World War II, more deadly than the actual invasion at Utah Beach weeks later. It's one of the best kept secrets of World War II. Now, as the world commemorates the 70th anniversary of the little known tragedy, the first ever high definition sonar images of the wreckage are being released. Hydroid, a U.S. marine robotics company and a subsidiary of Kongsberg Maritime, used their autonomous underwater vehicle to survey the wreckage and collect data as a way of paying tribute to those lost. This was the first time in history that an AUV captured images of the World War II site. The Royal Navy's maritime team, known as MAST, also contributed to the mission. The ability to take um, something like the AUV, which can get in that close, you're, you're in a better position to get a fuller picture of the whole area. Equipped with state-of-the-art edge check side scan and geoswath sonar technology, Hydroid's Remus 100 AUV captured these close proximity images of sunken LSTs 507 and 531. The images show that both ships have broken in half and rest approximately 50 meters deep. One side scan image in particular shows the stern of LST 531. Even after 70 years, you can clearly make out the two keels, but also a rudder and propeller highlighted in the sonar shadow. Hydroid's Bungie Williams says the company hopes the images can serve a greater purpose. With this data, we hope to be able to bring some form of closure to those families who tragically lost their loved ones during this operation. Hydroid and the Royal Navy will be donating the images they've obtained on this mission to local memorials and the UK National Archives. By contributing to this memorial, we'll always remember and never forget those US servicemen who lost their lives during Operation Tiger.